Hi, everyone. I'm Rick Zanotti, and this is Tech Down Over. I'm joined today by Harold Mugliotti, and the show is all about the Canon C200 cinema camera and the browser remote app. Let's get to it. Thanks. This show is sponsored by Relate Corporation at www.relate.com. Your training and video partner. And we are back, and sorry for that. I was looking at the wrong light instead of that one. I was looking at that one. Then I realized, I'm looking at the wrong light. Anyway, the Canon C200 is a cinema camera. It is a great shooting camera. I'm on it right now. So the C200 is what's recording my shot at this moment. And we got this camera back in December. So far, it's been a really good camera to work with, to shoot with. Quality is excellent on it. It has some nice features, and we're going to talk about one of them. It's remote capabilities, the ability to connect it either to an Ethernet network, and we'll talk about that in a moment, or to create its own private Wi-Fi network, which is what we're doing at this very moment. So, Harold. Yeah, so it's called what we're doing right now it gives you three modes. It gives you the Ethernet, it gives you connect to a network via Wi-Fi, or it, what we're using now is called the camera access point, where it creates its own Wi-Fi access point. And a lot of other cameras do this, like the GH5 will also do this, that we're using. That, that's the camera that's uh, recording me right now is the GH5. So anyways, the C200 does the camera access point, and then you just go on a laptop or some mobile device or something, you connect to its uh, network and you can get the browser remote which looks like this and right now we are connected via laptop so laptop is on an NDI network um, and it is going into vmix our switching software and that is what Harold's seeing coming out of the camera right now he can control pretty much everything from it yes you can uh you can see my cursor here, and if I were to click somewhere else on the shot here, we could change the focus point, though I don't think it would make sense to focus on anything el other than Rick's face in this shot. But say I wanted to focus on his shirt here, I could click here, and it will change it. To Well, it, it just does it briefly because it's doing face tracking, so it basically goes back to his face. But if and if you wanted to change to a different focus mode, as you can see here, there is a tab that says focus on the lower right here. You can change it to between face detection on and off. You can change it from continuous to selectable face priority. You can turn on object tracking. You can turn on AF lock. We're going to leave it for at where it is right now because that makes the most sense for this shot. As you can see, you also have an exposure tab, so you could activate the ND filter. I'm going to turn it on a little bit. It's it's going to make the focus freak out because it's so dark. But and that's the lowest ND, right? No, this is just the first ND. First ND, the lowest, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, the the least amount of. Uh, so let's take that off, and um, you can change the aperture, which is interesting, as we've actually, you know, this is a replaceable lens camera. We've got a Sigma um, f1.4 50 millimeter on there right now. I believe that's the art lens. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I wanted to, I could uh, put it all, all the way to f1.4, and we're quite a bit brighter there, but I'll go back to our f1.8. And as you can see, you can change I ISO, you can change shutter speed, and you can change auto exposure shift. For example, if you change your gain, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> so you're getting real-time results right off of the browser remote app. It runs pretty quickly. Yes, I mean, there is a bit of lag on the picture, but I think that's to be expected yeah, with something I move, like this. It's it gets there in about less than a second. Yeah, it, like, it's showing I lift maybe, my hand. May, maybe something like five frames a second here when we're looking at the preview. But now sometimes it goes almost, if I move slowly, it's about even. My hand is up. Now if I go fast, it comes up about maybe a quarter of a second later. 
but so it's, it's not a, too bad. It's it's enough to make the oops, make the adjustments that you will need mm -hmm. to make for this. And uh, as you saw when I first got on here, there's the white balance options. You can also do things like um, add clip titles. You can um, set GPS in info, that sort of thing, other metadata things. There's also a more basic version of the controls here that are intended for use with like a phone or something like that. Now, one thing you can't do with this is you cannot control your audio levels. So keep that in mind yeah. because audio on the C200 is controlled by knobs on the handle uh, where you have your XLR inputs. So you can't really control it from inside the camera. Now, I'm wondering, does that control the internal camera, uh, the internal camera um, microphones? Um, there don't seem to be, no any, let me switch back to it. I don't believe there are any um, audio related controls on here. There are none that I've been able to find. Yeah. yeah. So and actually with audio, you're probably better off being connected to the camera, have your headphones on either something that going into the camera or going into some sort of audio device that you can hear what the camera is hearing. And hopefully you don't have to adjust your audio in the middle of a shoot anyway. You would probably be stopping your recording and that sort of thing. It's a really nice app. Now we did try using the uh, network app. It had some issues. We had very slow performance on it. Like it could take minutes for things to connect. It would finally connect, but it would be very, very slow to actually do anything. So not recommended. Now, uh, we think the problem was probably ours internal. We haven't really spent that much time trying to figure out. And we gave, we gave it a, f uh, a fixed IP address. So it should have worked, but there's a good chance it was getting blocked or slowed down dramatically by our firewall. So from that point of view, it, it's probably us. We're going to do some other testing to see if we can get it to work correctly. But initially, it does connect, but boy, is it slow. And as you can probably s see in this shot, it does. we do currently have the RJ45 connected to it into its e Ethernet port, which is just with, with all the other uh, connections on the lower right back of the camera. The Canon C200 is a really nice, versatile camera. It has great video quality. It's got nice and uh, uh, networking capabilities. It's got a good browser control for remoting and uh, just a, a nice overall shooting camera. This is uh, good. It really shoots well. We noticed the color is really very good. We're going to do another video soon on adjusting the color um, from within the camera to get rid of the magenta uh, kind of look it has when you first get it. It's, it's quite reddish, especially skin tones and everything. A lot of people say do it in post. We say if you can, do it up front, and that's what we're doing, and it seems to work really well. Very easy, and we'll show you that in another video. Harold, anything else? I would just say check, keep an eye out for our upcoming tutorials and demos with this camera and with lighting setups and a few other topics. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be doing one on, on some lighting techniques, the Rembrandt lighting technique, very yeah. soon. Keep your eyes up from that. It's a really nice technique. We're using it right now on me, the way I'm being lit. Yes. If I was looking at an interview video, I'd be lit a little bit differently, but it works really well the way it's set up. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. We will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you do get this camera, and I imagine this works about the same for the C100, 200, 300, 500, probably very similar app. I think it's the they same. They have similar ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So have fun. It's not cheap, but you know what? You get what you pay for. And this is a, a very good camera. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time on Tech Down Over. Bye, everyone.